My name is Mo Agostino, Managing Commodity Strategist with Farms.Commerce Management. I just completed uh, the 2013 Midwest Crop Tour, uh, which uh, took about eight days. And the other key question that I'm trying to answer for farmers is what are the yields going to be at harvest? What are corn and soybean yields going to be? Let's start off with corn. Again, throughout my eight-day tour in the U.S. Midwest, uh, the west was uh, dry, the east um, um, wet. As we approached Illinois, we started to see higher corn, tasseling corn, ears growing. We did see some rootworm pressure uh, where the corn wasn't quite pollinating, but very little of that was happening amongst the ears that we pulled from the corn stalks. Um, but if we adjust acres down by a million because of some issues in that north central Iowa, southern Minnesota, let's say harvested acres is 88.1 versus 89.1 currently, and we um, adjust maybe the yield slightly down to 155. We think that yield is, is 150, 155. We've had some pretty good uh, growing conditions, particularly in the east. Uh, and the market's getting a little bit more comfortable with a 155 yield. USDA currently at 156.5. Ending stocks dropped from 19 billion bushels currently to about 1659. It's about a 300 million dollar, 300 million bushel drop. That could uh, cause uh, December futures to rally a little bit. But the funds are record short, so one could wait for that short covering rally into that August 12th WASU. No guarantees USDA will make any adjustments. Um, but we don't think December 2013 corn futures could uh, get much past the resistance of 525. We actually think the funds, as, as the days grow, uh, go by, they're going to get more and more comfortable with a, on the verge of a very large crop, and they could send corn futures down to $4 a bushel by uh, middle to end of October. As for soybeans, uh, the yield we think our best guess is in that 42 to 44, but we're not out of the woods with the beans. The crops made in August. If we have ideal growing conditions in the coming months, beans could surprise to the upside. Uh, and uh, that would be bearish for prices. Uh, look for soybeans to lose the most in the coming months because the spread between corn and beans is at the high around that 263. Um, so uh, soybean prices could test harvest lows around $11 a bushel.